Arsenal Invincible, Martin Keown alongside us this morning. Martin, is it your view? And some people think this, and I think you fall into that some people category. Are we really seeing a Wenger-like transformation before our eyes at Tottenham with Postacoglu? Well, it was me that did say it, Jim. So, yes, you're right. I do believe that. And it's, uh, it is transformational, what I'm seeing at Spurs. So all that cloud is, is lifted from the club almost overnight. And it's to take you back to those days at Arsenal, it was um, when Wenger came in, he told us to play with freedom, be free in your minds, express yourself. And until that point in my career, I think I can remember George Graham saying to me, hey, 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 get the ball, win it, and give it to someone who can play. And you feel... Um, not really very complete when someone says that, but suddenly there's a manager telling me, no, 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 you can play, son. You go and... You, I trust you. And and all of a sudden, we, it was such a freedom, liberating as a, as a player. And I see that uh, with Spurs. They've lost their best player. They now look a better team. So <laughs> yes. it's now going uh, to another level. And what's interesting is that this manager, he, he cares for his players and he believes in his players in a way that Conte simply didn't. And I think now... The, the club is seeing the benefit of that because it's a, a pretty decent squad. I kept saying this at the start of last season. This squad now is capable when they put when they started putting those players together. Look at Basuma crashing into tackles. I think he's made more tackles than any other player in the Premier League. Capable look- of what? What are they? What are, are, well, to- are you telling us Tottenham it, can it. be considered outside title contenders? No, no, no. I think they can get into the top four and I think they can push to the top. This game will tell us a lot about that, Jim, because we now have a Liverpool team as well who are arriving with five wins from six. And they also, uh, it's a second phase team, isn't it? We're building a new team for Klopp. It's been there eight years now. Um, you see Salah is still at the, always on that right wing, but mostly it's a different midfield and the rest of the front line is, is changed. So I think we're in for a, quite a cracker here to see who it is that's now going to go after Man City. Because they need to, both teams will feel they need to win, Jim, to stay on the coattails of Man City, who just keep winning. You make it sound so simple. Believe in the players and they will flourish. It can't be that simple. Well, you have to be talented first, of course. But it, it, I just see that they're playing with much more expression, a willingness to attack. The fans now will turn up tomorrow to this game, absolutely delighted that there's a fantastic game. Uh, looking forward to going to White Hart Lane. It's a totally different environment. It's not toxic anymore. They're there to support their team. There's a unity within the ground. And it happened overnight. It happened overnight for Arsenal. I was looking back through some some books. I was reading a book on, about Arsenal uh, recently. And it was like the fans were saying, God, this is like, we've only, he's only been here six months. Because that first season when Wenger came, by the way, we were in second position. We probably should have finished better. Mm. Um, and it was transformational. The fans didn't couldn't believe what they were seeing. And yeah. I was included in that. I was probably one of the, of the people that pre- benefited most yeah, from that man- management style, and I think I can see it now with these um, these very good Tottenham players right now. Okay, Europe now three 0 up uh, over in Rome. We'll get back to that shortly. Sam, what do you make of the comparison that Martin's making between Postecoglou and Wenger? A Wenger like transformation. Well, Martin can speak to it, can't he? I mean, I don't know how much of a transformation has gone on behind the scenes inside Tottenham. Evidently, on the pitch, what you see is a group of players that are playing with a lot more freedom. Freedom to be offensive. I don't mean rude. I mean going forward and attacking the opposition. Um, and there's a better feel coming from the manager. Um, I don't think Arsenal was a... I mean, the tag of Arsenal was boring Arsenal and they had a certain viewpoint, but I don't think they were an unsuccessful football club no. before Arsene Wenger came along. George but, Graham was very successful. George Graham was remarkably successful and ran it in a slightly different way. But they played way. with a panache and a style and, style and a freedom and, and an expression, and of, which is which gives you a warmer feeling, doesn't it? Of and, course it does. And the brand of football for Arsenal is so much, so much more. I mean, Sammy, if, if, if Tottenham beat Liverpool, can we consider them title contenders? No. No. What what at best can we we view them I as? They can, I think they can challenge to be in the top four, like Martin says. I Why not contenders? Because they're not good enough. And the opposition that are, that are good enough are better than them by a mile. Manchester City are miles better. But they've better gone out of the League Cup, Jim, and they're not in Europe, are they? They so have those advantages. So, you know, but the only way this transform, transforms completely is if they start to win trophies. That's when it becomes the real Wenger story. Yeah, but think of the momentum lot, they can get the going initial, in the Premier League. The initial start is a good one. And it's very interesting to see, isn't it, when someone comes in with a different attitude. And, 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 and I, when I say the word love and care, the, the, you know, Simon always laughs. But I just, when they can feel that now. Romero, Romero in that in that um, I can never say his name. Romero, Romero, the Spurs defender when he went off in that first game against Brentford. I saw something from a manager, a bit of care that I've not seen for years. Not seen for years. He said, "No, you're coming off." The guy is a, is like a robot. He's aggressive. He wants to put his foot in. He got a head injury. He took him off, and he was he, the guy was raging. But I saw a bit of care there for the manager, and I thought, well, if he's like that around the place, and 
and and well, this will be an interesting watch. I don't disagree. And I watch with, with interest. I don't, I don't disagree with you. The principle: you must value your players. They must be worth the value that you put into them, and you must value them, and you must treat them with respect, and they must earn that respect. The only difference that we have is the is the categorization of it being in perpetuity. I think that what Costa Coglu has done is gone in there and exhibited a very different attitude, shown faith, belief. He's brought players back in that clearly Basuma didn't go from being a decent player at Brighton to being absolutely not worth even putting anywhere near the first team at Tottenham that was a choice by manager and look at him now because someone um, look at Kulusevsky beginning to go back to the player that he was if we can if we see Richarlison start to do something meaningful we scored against Sheffield United and all of a sudden you've got yourself a chance the problem for Tottenham is they'll compete this is a basketball match on the weekend because this is two sides that are quite easy to play through right now and they're going to go at one another they know how to play in one way which is going forward so it's going to be and who's going to who's going to be able to score the most it's goals so new isn't it for Liverpool and I, I'm, McAllister, yeah. I think, is a great player, but I'm not sure he's playing in the right role, Jim, which is plays deep in that midfield. In time, maybe, Gravenbrach bench comes in and plays in that deep role. Maybe he pushes forward, but I don't see him as wonderful as he is. I think he's losing the ball too much in that area. But Nunes is now the new centre forward, and I think he's now playing on the last defender. He's Diaz very is a, congested Diaz is in a that good midfield. player. There's somebody having a pop at you though, Martin. Don't ever, Martin, compare Postecoglou to Wenger again. Wenger won the double in his first full season. Ange has only been there for six games. I'm talking about the, very, the, the, the change, the transformation yeah. he's made in those early stages, and they were remarkable for Arsenal. And I think they're they're, they're similar now. Spurs' challenge, Jim, is if if they, they I don't think they've got enough goals in the side. It's all well and good sharing them about right now, but I think they need a centre forward. If they were to either get Richarlison scoring goals, which he's never proven to be that much of a prolific goal scorer in any incarnation, and albeit he hasn't played in the greatest side. If he clicks, though. Possibly. I mean, he could score the winner I'd, like I'd like to see him sign Ivan Tony. That's what I'd like to see them do. If they sign Ivan Tony, I think it's a statement of intent in January, and I think it will also give them an opportunity to put a striker up top. If he can score 20 goals for Brentford... He can score 25 for Spurs, and that's okay. what's missing from Spurs' side. Spurs fans, you heard Simon there. He would like to, to see Ivan Tony join you. Uh, do you agree with that? 8 10, 89. Tony at Tottenham, you'd love that, would you? Let me know on that. Who wins this, Martin? Liverpool or, or, or Tottenham? I think Tottenham. That's what I said. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Jeez, I should change it now. I mean, pff, it's going somewhere. This early, and we're there's real positivity about Spurs look, coming from Arsenal. I just think that game. Liverpool, they concede a lot of goals early. I was at the game against Wolves, where in the first half, they, it was it was quite shocking. I, I, I credit Klopp with making the changes that turned them around. I, I just think it's so new, and there are so many changes. Uh, if Alexander-Arnold comes back, that's, that, that helps... That helps Liverpool. Yeah. But in some ways, it makes them even more attacking minded, and maybe they'll get punished even more. So you're both taking Tottenham to win? I took, in that shootout that you asked yesterday, for, for us to name who won the game, I think between myself and Danny Murphy, I said, I, Danny said Liverpool because he thought he was at Anfield, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I agree with you, Sammy, that it's like a basketball match. I see where he's going with that. It's going to be end to end stuff. I don't think Liverpool lose. That's so right. Go for a draw then, Jim. Okay. Coming up to quarter to 11, Europe flying in Rome. Jim White. Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport